Good day, beautiful people. Wherever you are in this beautiful, amazing world. Today is a Tuesday and is the day of the full moon. And also, it's Breaking Limitations Tuesday. What an amazing setting. So, today I'm... Um, I'm speaking about my limitations and how I, the divine helps me to get out of them in every single moment. So I always had this limitation, the limitation of money. I felt like I don't deserve to have this lot of money when everybody else doesn't have because truth be told I'm an empath and being an empath means that I am able to feel what people are feeling I'm able to feel what even the people who feel those emotions are not feeling them and I realized this recently that all along when I felt things, whenever I would speak to somebody, I would speak to somebody about things that I'm feeling in them that they can't feel. Some can say I'm prophetic, but it's simply being an empath, being able to feel, being able to, to feel what you're going through. So this feeling has made me to live in poverty for a long time. And I was living in poverty, you know, it, only because I didn't want to have more than what people don't have. So every time I will meet somebody with, with a poverty state, then I will feel like they have to get something. So I always felt like I have to give to people. I always felt like I have to offer things to people. And whenever somebody will come to me, act it all up, I will give to them. And I became a giver because of this empath ability. And at a time it used to feel like a curse because I would feel things, people would not feel things, I would feel things for people and they won't feel the things for themselves. So I was more like a slave to humanity and, 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 and the thing about that is that because I was attracting that experience, every time after I think I'm done with this person, another person will pop up, just at the time. So uh, I always blamed the universe and thought that, you know, uh, this is how life is. Life is not fair and stuff like that. But what I didn't know is that at the point of my attraction, I was attracting all of this because I, want, I, I, I wanted to become a savior of the world. Then I was attracting all people who needed help from me until I realized that really we all have a choice. There is enough for all of us in this world. We all have a choice to choose the life experience that we want and, and whether we want to live in poverty or not. Because whether we are aware of, this, of the laws of the universe, which is the law of attraction, the law of deliberate creation, and the law of uh, the art of allowing, whether we are aware of it or not, it's still at work. What we attract or what we think about the most comes. If we think of things that we don't want, we experience the experience of not wanting them or the lack of it. So I realized that in my journey and realized that actually I was attracting these experiences. Poverty, I was attracting it. I was attracting bad people. I was attracting people who never served my, my spiritual state. I was attracting people who needed a savior. Then as I began to realize that beautiful thing, then that's when I started to be aware of this power that I have that I came about with, that my inner being provides me with in every single moment in time. And in this beautiful time, space, reality, I realized that the life of my dreams is controlled by me. It's the life that I set forth, that I set forth through my inner being in, the, in an unlimited plane of time, in, in an eternity. And as I came to this physical experience, I chose the parents that I have who gave me childhood traumas, who gave me a hard time living, who never even felt for me. And every experience that came to me, I created it. That's when I started to get out of poverty and live an abundant life. So with that being said, have a beautiful day, beautiful people. Till we meet again.